My name's Chloe Bader. I'm 21 years old. I'm a singer, songwriter, performer, arranger from uh, Northwest London. I live in London, so my family's always just come to Brighton, like if we want to go to the seaside or whatever. And I just like the fact that it was me moving out of home. And to it into a nice like music scene in Brighton, but also I was close enough to London I could get back if I needed to. I think it was just logistically it was like that's the best place to go for uni, and uh, yeah, it worked out pretty well. Yeah, I think I found because I was just starting music. I think London's like quite an intimidating place to get your foot in the door. Like doing your first ever gigs, like London's quite a tough crowd, whereas doing it in Brighton everyone's really really supportive so I had that year of like doing dodgy shows like looking kind of dodgy and just everything being a bit uh, yeah a bit wonky and people were really supportive and now I'm a bit more confident I feel like that's why I've moved back to London so I'm like ready to take it on now. I think um, like jazz has just become this kind of all-encompassing like really ambiguous label you can put on anything that's kind of like jazz inspired my music i definitely wouldn't class as jazz music even though i'm on like so many like jazz lineups all the time but that's fine because like jazz is it's always developing it's always evolving like what jazz was when it started out is completely different to what's considered like jazz now so you have like your Kamal Williams and your use of days and then you have your like Kamazi Washington but like Kendrick Lamar's involved as well and then there's like people like me and it's just everyone's being called jazz artists and it's it's fine because you're just inspired by that type of music as long as you've got those kind of like for me anyway I use those kind of jazz chords that jazz like instrumentation and like that element of improvisation as well that's what makes it jazz you don't have to be like a like traditional jazz band to fall under that umbrella. But that was something um, that was just in development for a long time. Like me um, and Ebby have always wanted I, that song. Actually, medicine. Like that was in my first ever gigs that I did like three years ago. But it was just a completely different version that always had a kind of jazz element to it. But I was just never really happy with the arrangement. And then. As soon as I like took it to Ebby and was like, look, can we try this? Like, can we try doing a different arrangement of this? It just like clicked straight away and I was like, yeah, come on then, let's go. <laughs> but I always kind of imagined um, it as a like a B-side kind of thing. So that's where the other song came from. And yeah, involved my bandmates James and Malta on that one. Uh, with my cousin producing it. And yeah, I'm really happy with it as a two-track package. I just want to make my money. I don't really want your love. So I say I'm not a communist, yeah, but I'm definitely like anti-capitalist to a point. <laughs> I think, especially in this day and age, like how the hell am I going to get a house? How am I ever going to afford a car or like any nice thing for myself? Especially when you're a creative. And so I always tell the story of like my dad's an ice cream man. All of his um, income is in like pound coins. So I was very used to him like counting his pound coins like after work every night and I always thought that's what everyone did I didn't realize people got like set salaries and whatever that's what medicine is about in particular um, that's like a way more personal one about like my financial stress and struggles but money is just like way more light-hearted just like a little bop about like financial independence girls like don't need a man so you just need a mortgage <laughs> I'm like, I'm not just saying it, like, I'm so excited for this gig and as soon as we all got the offer through, because like Ebby Soda, I don't know if like Offy Mag knew this or not, but me, Ebby Soda and like Yana Sophie are all like really good mates, so when we got the, off the um, offer through we were just like so gassed and like messaging each other like this is the best lineup ever and I just kept saying like I'm going to get that poster, I'm going to print it out and like keep it on my wall forever, like, I'm just really excited, it's, it's nice that you're kind of like digging into the kind of like jazz community and not just going off like what everyone's talking about because I feel like 
like all three of us are kind of a little bit underground and yeah it's nice that we can put on this like community event that just supports young musicians. I'm really excited for it. <laughs> Awfully mag.